Guys, the King of Sardinia is back in the legendary dealership in Gran Turismo 7. Yes, the R92 CP from 1992 is back. It's brand new added today, so it's going to be around for a good couple of days. Uh, so make sure you grab this one for 2 million credits. Uh, it seems like a lot, but I think this car could earn it back within an hour. Now I've already covered this car on my channel before but I've got a tune that has been tweaked a little bit and this is my fastest ever car in Gran Turismo 7 around Sardinia. I think it's possible to go sub 23 minutes. First of all I'm going to tell you the strategy and at the end of the video I'm going to run you through the exact tune for everything you need to do to make this an absolute weapon at Sardinia. So the Sardinia World Touring Car 800 you can find it in World Circuits, head over to Europe head over to, to Sardinia road track and we're going to scroll across to the Sardinia World Touring Car 800. You should know what this race is guys, this is a great money making race and the best thing about this race, it's lap limited not time limited so the faster you can do the race the more credits per hour you can earn. So I'm going to make an attempt to go uh, sub 23 minutes uh, but not only that I'm going to make an attempt in VR so let's get the headset on. Okay, so we're going to leave it a fuel map number one for the first straight just to maximise what we can do into turn one and then we'll switch it to a lower power for fuel efficiency. For the first stint, boxed in there. for the gap to open. There we go. A oh, little bit of door bang. Working that traffic. Try and making the most of the slipstreams where we can but we need to be cautious through here because the car goes light on the front end. as early as we can. Where is it going to go? It's going to go outside. Just touch that grass on the outside. Could be a bit awkward into the final corner. Let it loose down the straight. Open it up with a 132. A little bit deep into turn one, but compromised line. Looking for the 50 board. Portilla already. Are we going to get Portilla before we even get to the second of the big raking zones? He's got a fast car but no match for this car I don't think. Send it to the outside. Got him done. swans on exit there's a bump on the apex of that corner which we need to be careful of that is the car the corner where the car is the worst it's still pretty solid and it more than makes up for it with the power the car has good on fuel a little lift onto the straights make sure we don't run too wide Absolutely send it. What's the opening lap doing? So 128 is lap number three. So this car has incredible potential. We're not even on the best fuel map because we're trying to save fuel to go for a longer first stint. Gas as early as possible it helps get the car 
on boost. And we were up then on our previous best, but that that is unsure what it is. I couldn't see it in time. Breaking before the 150 is definitely where it's at. Use it all the track and a little bit more. Once you get on boost, those revs just rip through. Touching the outside curve, absolutely perfect. What's this lap time going to be? Second lap into the 128 again. It wasn't even a fantastic lap, guys. Big cut there, maybe a little bit too much. Short shift into second on corner exits. Up again, as the fuel burns off, we're getting more and more pace from the car. And the 150 just before. Make sure we get it stopped and turned. Watch the bump on the middle of the corner for the left-hander, right-hander. car is feeling absolutely sweet. You know, I think the car stops a little bit better if you just ease off the brakes a fraction, especially when you're rolling into the corners. 4.3 laps of fuel to do four more laps. Still in the 128. That was a nice turn one. That was. Oh, hugging those, hugging those apexes. Looking for the 50 just before. Up those tyres, corner exit, absolute animal. And there will be a time where tyre wear exceeds lightweight fuel performance. We should make sure we keep those lap times up. through Sardinia, We're not hit any traffic yet which is good and uh, that's going to probably compromise us a little bit. We can just run a little bit wide on that curb. Still in the 128, almost bang on the same time. It'll be interesting to see what race time we get, guys, because this feels absolutely fantastic. Some traffic is ahead, looks like a big gang of cars. Not ideal, but this car makes light work of them. Oh, not a great corner. I need to be brave with these passes to the inside, to the outside. Oh, we've gone very deep. Not ideal there. Lost a lot of time, that's a good second or 
two seconds. That's a big bit of a disaster that is, guys. We do what we do. Then it's actually trying to fight back on the outside. Got no chance. Be a huge compromise lap time 2.6 off not good traffic and a bit of tire wear is affecting us a little bit we can make that time back I'm sure Right, look at those tyres on corner exit. Get a bit of slip. Not much. Already monstered past him. A little bit deeper the brakes again there. Gap disappeared. That was not ideal. These AI are really compromising a race. One more lap of fuel, and that will get us eight laps and done, and then we can really turn it up and go home. 1.2, eighth lap, still in the 29s. I mean, it's in lap count. Kind of spin up tyres a lot more now. Tyre wear is. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, I have to catch that one. I would recommend TC on two if you want to make things a little bit safer for yourself. As always guys, just do as I say, not as I do. We like to keep it on the wild side. Here's Portilla. Putting a lap on Portilla. In fact, I think Portilla pits on lap 8 as well, so we're going to race him into the pits. No, we're not. We're going to actually monster him. Again, huge compromise. That's out of fuel, that car. That's going to cause a huge spanner in the works for everybody. Now, sometimes that happens, guys. Sometimes the AI just forget what they're doing. Right, fuel mixture one, because that's what we're going to finish the race. Fuel mixture one, into the pits. Brand new set of medium tyres. Fill the car to the maximum. has arrived. Guys, if you want anything from GT Omega, CD5 is the discount code. Check out the links in the description below. Now we're going to be cautious on pit exit because of traffic. And I think we've made good here tyres will be a little bit cold for the first half a lap maybe more looking for the space on the outside just about going to make it it's got a fresh set of tyres fuel mixture one maximum power We need to break it a fraction earlier in the braking zones to compensate for the extra speed. Oh, traffic 
go to the outside, I think that's the safest way around this bend here. Compromise there, a lot of tire marks where we've used the outside of the track. Right, this is the final stretch guys, this is where we make it happen. Good five laps to finish. It's always difficult to find a rhythm after the pit stop. Cars was a little bit heavy with fuel as well. Winding up all 900 horsepower with the medium RPM turbocharger. It'll shift up when it started, we'll spin there into third gear. Oh, well, that is awkward. That Corvette is out of fuel, that's going to be absolute danger. How many times going to lap that Corvette? Okay, what's the opening lap going to be in the last stint? It's going to be in the 28th again. Super wide entry allows it to cut and carry the exit speed. A bit one to do on corner exit, but we make up for that with power. The car is a bit more wild in fuel mixture one. Not the best car. Compromised corner exit there, that is a bit frustrating. I expect better from Gallo. Hopefully, still be in the 28s, and we are. And that's the best lap of the race so far. Oh, almost lost it. Whew. That was super sketchy. Proper brown trousers moment that guys. So we have to watch the power. This is an absolute nightmare. The Corvette is causing chaos. Not really ideal to set best race time, but we got around that one. Didn't give him room to the inside, I had to duck to the outside. This is a real battle, guys. Looking for space, squeeze it through there. Absolutely thread the needle. Ooh. Right, that's a lot of traffic gone now, surely. Fuel is looking good. We get a quick check when going across the line. Dangerous. Oh, a lot of traffic coming up here. It's 
think we're good on fuel. Oh, the car gets very light on exit of turn one. Centre on the outside, comes inside. Still traffic ahead. Are we going to get a clear lap? I don't think we are. Get on boost as early as we can. What a wild ride this is. Tyres are good. Oh, sketchy. Need a gap. Go to the outside. Go to the outside again. The car stalls up. Need to send it on the brakes. Trying to hang it. Just traffic galore. That Corvette is still running on fumes. Dropping off the pace a bit. We need to. Most of the lightweight fuel. Maybe short shift a bit too early there. One more shot at a good lap because it's been traffic galore. Using that outside the curve again. Even this last lap isn't going to be traffic free. Who is it? Is that Tidney? Could be Tid and the Audi. Right, let's make it happen, guys. 28 for the last lap, surely. Still 29. Come on, Tidge. Nice, he's left the gap. Oh, lighting up. A little bit compromised, not ideal. Tires are pretty shocking, actually. But we are, we've got power, power for days. Oh god, it's okay. <laughs> I didn't want to see that at the high speed dog leg. Just do out that one. Using the grass again. That is the line if you can do it. Eight laps of fuel remaining. This is the run to the finish line. I have no idea what the race time is because we're playing in VR, and that is going to cross the line just about finishing the race with a 1 minute 29 flat. <sighs> that was a wild ride, guys. Now, let me know in the comments what do you think the race time is? Let's find out. Oh, 22 minutes 59 seconds. There we go, guys. Sub 23 minutes, as close as you can get it. Uh, best lap, 1 minute 28.5. I have done a 1 minute 28.0 in other races. 
so for sure we can be faster than what we've done as you saw in that race guys we heavily compromised in some areas of course we're going to get the 727,500 credits in less than 23 minutes guys so here is the tune everything you see on screen in blue is different from the default setup so uh, first of all we're on the racing medium tires front and rear uh, that is what you get on the car that is all good uh, downforce is a bit of a uh, min max uh, kind of cheat a little bit it's a bit glitched with the way downforce works in Gran Turismo 7 and we're making the absolute most of it so we have the minimum front downforce and the maximum rear downforce that allows us uh, a pp headroom to allow us to put so much power in the car so we're going to have the medium uh, rpm turbocharger and that is it for the things you need to buy for the car uh, the fully customizable ecu is set to 99 uh, so we do have 977 horsepower uh, no ballast on the car at all and the power restrictor is set to 100 I do have the fully customizable racing transmission that is set to 370 kilometers an hour uh, and I haven't manually adjusted the gears but they are on screen for you now if you need to copy them um, no nitrous overtake uh, and here is my diff settings for initial torque I dropped it all the way to 5 I left the acceleration sensitivity as it is and I lowered the braking sensitivity all the way to the minimum this just frees up the car on corner entry uh, even right now, the way the car drives, it could do with a little bit more uh, steering. Um, and here is where we make up for that downforce uh, imbalance. So we make up for it in suspension. So almost all of the suspension settings uh, for the front are at the minimum uh, to give the most amount of uh, mechanical uh, steering, two degrees of camber, uh, zero degrees of towing. Uh, and then for the rear, it's maximums for everything stiffen everything up to reduce the amount of rear grip uh, this mechanically tries to compensate for the aerodynamic imbalance uh, and this brings the car back to being drivable again now for the tow angle you can change this to be however you want it to be whether you want to gain a little bit more steering or a little bit less steering i've got a full video explaining all of the tow angle settings in grand Tourism 7 it's on the screen right now go and click that one and i'll catch you over there